All right, we back with the special edition of the Strobank Show, another album review. Yerp. I'm your boy Rated R Randy. I got my dog Rowdy Ray. What's happening? And like I said, we back with another album review. As you guys know, we rate this on the Rowdy Ray music scale, ranging from Cheeks to Fie. Fie being fire with a little more umph on it, and Cheeks, ass, whole lot of ass. And in between those two extremes, we have mid, solid, and hard, mid, Hit a little bit, fell off real quick like the Reggie you niggas be smoking. We got solid, did what it was supposed to do, nothing more, nothing less. Yep. And hard. It's pretty self-explanatory, you know what I'm saying? Like hard, like, it was it, it was good, but just missed that little oomph. You know, put a little mustard on it and it'd, it'd be fia. But still dope. Still good, though. And today we talking about 40 water. That's right. Ooh. E-40. Like my man said, what you say? Ooh. That's right. And he had a new album called uh, Practice Makes Paper. I like the, I like the title. Artwork was dope, too. Oh, yeah. Artwork was dope. And, like, before, if I say anything disparaging about it, I just want to say that this is a legend in the game, 30 years plus. You got to get a man his, his due respect. That's like that Stephen A. when he's like, I like to preface my comments. <laughs> Before you say some bullshit. Cause yeah, uh it's a no for me, dog. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a clear cut no. Man's was was really showing his age. You know what I'm saying? I mean, were you like fifty? Something like that. Like cuz was around like the initial boom of rap. You know what I'm saying? Like cuz been rapping since like eighty seven, eighty eight. I'm not mad at it, but just not for me. Yeah, and then this song, I mean, this album, I mean, 26 songs. I'm, I know 40, 40 put out a lot of music. That's what he does. A lot of albums, a lot of songs. Like, that's just what he does. Didn't he have, like, a three-disc album before? Yes. Like, that's just what he does, right? Yes. I can't do it. 26 songs, I just can't do it. I really tried. Chris Brown released a tr uh, album with 45 songs and then, like, what, another 20-something or 30 You know how much music comes out we have to listen to? And I got to sit down and actually listen to this shit? Loki is inconsiderate on their part. You selfish at that point, bro. <laughs> you didn't make that for your fans. You you did that for you. Yeah, you, you don't care about me. You don't. You want to hurt me. And the worst part is we're going to see a lot more of this with streaming. Yep. Because they, you know, rappers are going to need more songs to stream to make get more, get their numbers. Yeah, to make ends meet. So scary. Like you said, it, it's a no for me, dog. Um, as far as standouts go, uh, OMB Peasy's verse on uh, uh, "Don't At Me" was dope. That was like one of the hardest verses of the album. One of the dopest tracks for me. Um, was I can't really pick three that I really just heavily fuck with. Mm. But No Choice uh, featuring James Too Cold. Both them niggas gassed that track. Bodie and James Too Cold, like, he, they both gassed that track, I will say. That's a, a big highlight of the album for me. Uh, what's the name of that track he got with uh, Scarface? Watch the Homies. Watch the Homies. Did I hate it, I repeat, hated the hook. But just to hear two motherfucking legends. Oh, geez. Like, real, like... Your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. And that's Big Facts. On a track together. And Scarface did not disappoint. Nah, he came with it. He came with it. And what was you saying? That's like, might be the this, last this verse. This is going to be one of the last verses we're going to get out of Scarface just because his political ambitions. He's running for uh, city council in Houston. Yes, sir. So, well, does up, man. Oh, yeah. So big ups to Scarface on that, but just, it, it, it made that verse just that much harder. Got to cherish it. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I mean, honestly, just my initial overall reaction. I mean, it's he put this together like West Coast Cali, pretty much. Yeah, it's tons of features. Even I mean, some of the pos you know, the big cuts with the one question with Jeremiah Ross and um Chris Brown. That's a a nice radio single, by the way. I could I could hear it on the radio. Chase the Money with Quavo, Roddy Rich, uh, Schoolboy Q, and I think Ferg was on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a lot of Cali approach to this album. Um, like you said, it was real dated. I, I ain't going to call it. I can't. Not in good conscience. 
I can't just be like, oh, this shit was cheeks. And I def- can't, yeah, I can't call it cheeks. But I gotta go mid. I gotta definitely mid, go yeah. mid. And there was nothing really sustainable. Yeah. Uh, all the, like all the tracks was very hit or miss. Yeah. Yeah. No disrespect to Fody, man. Not none in the slightest. But this just wasn't cut. Matter of fact, uh, I think one of the tracks I kind of liked off of there though was uh, that Blossom track uh, with. Boosie, Boosie Badass and uh, Rex Life Raj. Mm-hmm. He got a cool little song that was like an ode uh, to, you know, his old song Sprinkle Me with Rex Life Raj. And that shit hard. Word. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, just, oh, shit. I always, I always show a lot of love. And that's why I can't call this album some cheeks because Forty always makes sure he kind of reaches back and tries to pull forth. The you know the young dudes, the new dudes that's carrying the torch for the West. You know, mm-hmm. like even though on BPZ is his artist, he still like you don't have to keep putting them on your shit. That's big facts. You know what I'm saying? You can just let him try to bubble on his own, and then him going out and uh, trying to uh, him getting a verse from that dude Stupid Young. You know what I'm saying? Another young West Coast rapper on his way up, possibly could pop in the next year or two. For you know, West Coast Wave is it, it, it's coming. Again. Also, I see. Uh, I think I see Neff the Pharaoh always with a forty two. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I don't think he had a, a verse on this album or anything. But you know, just to go back to what you were saying, as far as forty showing the, the the young guys love, that's it's always dope to see. Yeah, it's never never no hate from forty. Nah. Which is why I can't say no hate his way. And he's very uh, innovative with what he's done in the game, just from. The terminology he's put out, a yeah. lot of the game he put out, um, really being one of the initial pioneers of independent rap. Yep. So, I mean, Cause, you yeah, know. When you think of, like, you know, independent rap, you think of dudes like him, Master P, rap a lot. Uh, uh, I'm going to say No Limit. That would have been redundant. But, uh, like, Cash Money, like. Tech. Tech, yeah. On, on, a, on a smaller scale, tech, definitely. But, yeah, like, he's really one of the dudes who kind of, you know, put that flag in the dirt and stood on it. You would it. say Tech is smaller scale? Just because I feel like his his impact has been somewhat minimized because as much as he's tried to put Kansas City in the limelight, it just has not – we just haven't seen great results from it. Yeah, but it's bigger than that. I think you got universal what, – what, how people respond to him universally. Mm-hmm. I think he's a big titan, and as far as independent rap goes, he's probably the top three to five names you're looking at. I, I mean, I don't wrong. I see exactly where you're coming from, but at the same time, a, a lot of times his stuff wasn't really gelling with the actual like hip hop crowd. You get what I'm saying? Because he kind of ventured more into the more like rock rap, uh, you know, side of it. What the, we can't hold that against him. Can't, we can't? Nah. Why not? Why would we hold that against Tech? I'm saying... Cause Even though this is an E-40, you know, we got that, time. Yeah, we, we got a little time. Just mainly because, like, it wasn't for... A lot of music he was making was more so for his fans, not rap fans. You get what I'm saying? But it's still under the umbrella of independent rap, bro. Even though, he had, point, even though be, he had rock elements in it. A lot of rock elements. Shouldn't it have been more so under independent music at that point? But think about how he started, though. If I don't you, know. Like, if you look at how, how he, he started, started. But I'm saying, like, when he really was on his run and was making all his money, is is when he went the more independent music. Well, right? I, he started making a lot of money late, too. Yeah, with that. And that, he kind of came more back down to, I don't want to say down to earth, but kind of a little bit more traditional as years have gone on. That's true. Because he had his experimental phase. And it's just mainly when, like, he was, like, constantly being called to the uh, gathering of the juggalos is mainly what I'm talking about. And he went through that full clown phase. That's what I'm mainly making allusions towards. Fair enough. I mean, you can still... I mean, I, that's what, at this point, it's semantics. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're getting caught in, like, the nuances of it. It's not as cut and dry as, like, I'm trying to make it appear. You getting caught. Not really. Mm-hmm. Not really. You getting caught, bro? I'm not, but it's all because good. tech is tech for real is like three to five names you look up in independent in, independent rap, bro. Three to five. Uh, who? Okay, so who would you put? Are you saying from like third spot to five, or just in all your your top five independent 
artists, independent rappers. Independent rappers. Obviously, Master P. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's probably like number one. Uh, you gotta go with either Forty or Cash Money, and then like that kind of gets interchangeable. So that's why, like, when you kept saying like three or five, like I'm saying like yeah, top five, but like top three, maybe not, because he's never been. His music has never really been palatable to like you know a large fan base. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. So yeah, like if you said five, sure, but like that's what I said, three to five. I'm not putting them in. Just saying. Hey, that's perfectly fine. Which yeah. is why I said three to five. Just say five, bro. Why can't you just say five? Because it's arguable. Is it? It's arguable. Is it? I think more people fuck with Tech globally, globally. than E Forty. Globally, globe, but that's something like like that stands for something, to an extent. But stateside wise, who fuck with them more? Oh, uh, 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 you know they fuck with E Forty more, stateside. And we we make the opinions, we make the rules. So, no, that's not how it goes. It is. It goes like I'm that. I'm not listening to it. A goes UK like niggas' opinion on rap. It bro. goes like that, but it's a lot of money. You are gonna take it money is. from it globally? Is. But they guess what. Like they they not they might not way. have a say exactly, <laughs> but Thank it's still it's point. still important. It's still important if you may, if if they if it if it can get you dollars, it's important. Yeah, but like I said, their opinions hold no weight. Like I'm not listening to a Euro nigga about rap. I'm not some kid from Austria. Nigga, is, is, they do it with Tim Westwood all the time. Who really holds his opinion like that? Like who 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 like who says his opinion hold weight? Apparently, the niggas that go on this show. Cause they care enough to go on the show. I mean, the likes of the greatest artists we've seen. But then you gave one. Like, other than that, who? I'm just saying. You said Tim West. You, you said nobody. I'm just saying. We Tim one. Westwood. Okay. An anomaly. That's that's what we come down to. An anomaly. An outlier. Fair enough. But globally, I, the global love is just as important. Is it really it? is. In the later stages, that's of where career. a lot of things get done. And in, in the later stages of your career, yeah, because they their festivals shit on our festivals. You ever seen them shits, mm. bro? They be having small countries out and about, hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand, like Woodstock. They piss on Woodstock. U.S. We make the trends. Yes, we make the trends, but like for the span of your career, it's important that you have a rapport globally. With the fans. That's a fact. We're just tastemakers, essentially. Yeah. And after that, we don't give, like, we'll throw you away quick. That's a fact. So I think, I, that's why I say, that's why I'm kind of arguing, you know, about Tech is, that's, like, really important that he has, like, mainstays overseas. And that, that kind of clout. But anyway, anyway, we off subject like a motherfucker. I, Far. We had time to kill. We didn't really get into the E-40 album like that. Yeah, it wasn't a lot to get into. Facts. Uh... That wraps it up, bro. Yeah. Um, I'm Radar Randy. My dog, Rowdy Ray. What's up? Strobanks out. Peace. <laughs>